19 to go. Yeah, they can hear us though. We're not yeah. Can they hear us? Yeah, they can hear us. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they can Is hear us. Is anyone there? Yeah, they're there. Okay. Okay, well, we gotta roll the intro. Then. To the thing. Yeah, okay. push the button. Right, here we go. Ah. Oh. Hello. Hello. Welcome. 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 Mein Herren. Meine Damen. Mein Freunde. Meine Freunde. Freunde. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to Charming Disasters Quarantine, Quarantine Live Stream. Hmm. Yes, we are here. Jeff, what is going on with your. Uh, my shirt? Your, no, your, um, you, it's like you've got something on your, um, what is it? Oh, we have many friends here with us right now. We see Fred and we see Mike and we see Eden and we see Gabe and Sierra and mm. Catherine and Melissa and Tim and Troy and Joseph and Matt and Sarah and Joshua and Katie and Barbara, Ella and Svanka, <laughs> the meme lord, oh, so and um, Peter Buffano, and uh, Camilla, we hope. And uh, as you can see, we're already in Germany. That's right. Flying in our above. minds. This is our minds <laughs> flying <laughs> over Bavaria. Yes. We're not actually technically in Germany yet, but um, we are going to leave for Ger Germany in, in oh what, my gosh, two days? Like, on Sunday. Like 48 Whatever. hours, pretty much. Yes. Yeah, so um, we're just like we're just trying to like mentally prepare yeah, ourselves. Yeah, getting ready. And getting this is used to the language. This is part of our, you know, our ritual mm -hmm. for that. Um, oh, Matt really likes your shirt, Jeff. Thank you. It is springtime, so I thought I would wear my springy shirt. Yeah, it's it's it is getting to be. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Spank of the Meme Lord is actually in Germany. Does is it wow. just like this? Where where in Germany? Yes, tell us where Please. in Germany you are, um, and we're, we're going to have a part of the show where we're going to ask for a lot of advice mm -hmm. about Germany. So because we're going to need it, we're going to need it. So just like start kind of storing that up for later. Mm -hmm. um, welcome to Charming Disasters Quarantine Live Stream, everyone. This is a, a donation based concert yeah. uh, that we have been doing. We've doing been doing this for. Uh, Four, four, four years. Four years now, believe yeah. it or not. Yeah, um, yeah these yeah. curtains are getting pretty old. Okay. They're antiques, practically. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, uh, it's a donation-based concert. And what what is a donation-based concert? It's what like, is a donation? Well, you know, it's like a little way to insert a little bit of like chaotic good into things. Mm, like, if like you want to pay nothing for this, like you can do that. If you want to pay us a pittance, that's fine. If you want to like spend a lot of lavish money mm -hmm. on uh, supporting our art, that's allowed. Um, uh, on the other hand, like if you want to just enjoy this, like this is our gift to you. Mm -hmm. It's it's really it's a it's a, like a, it's a win win a win. free for all an honor system uh, an an economy of sharing. Um, yeah, it's like an improvisational economy. I oh, like I that. like that. That's good. Anyway, uh, if you want to throw some money at us for the weird art that we're making, yeah. we have a Venmo, mm -hmm. we have a PayPal. We have uh, Bandcamp, which is uh, this is a good day to do Bandcamp because mm. we have a new release on Bandcamp, uh, mm. which we'll talk about more in a little bit. And we also have a Patreon, which is a monthly subscription at the level of your choosing to access uh, some exclusive stuff and just to help us keep all of this mm -hmm. going. Because these castles, um, do you know how much it costs to heat a thing like that? It's very, it's very crazy. expensive. They are not insulated. It is very expensive. Anyway, we thank you for your support, and we also thank you for being here with us, which is the most important thing. The truly. most important thing. Um, oh, some more friends have joined us here. We see Carrie, and we see Sue Ellen, and we see um, uh, that Svanka the Meme Lord is in... Thuringia. Thuringia. Yeah. Thuringia? Thuringia? Our German is very bad. We will... We apologize in advance. We do apologize. 
in advance. <clears throat> um, so uh, let's see. We're going to just drop um, the donation stuff in the chat. Um, Minion, if you wouldn't mind doing that so that Eden can pin that in Facebook for all the nice people who would like a convenient way to remember how to support our work. We're going to begin the show, as we often do, mm. with... A ritual? An opening ritual. Yeah. We're going to select a card from the deck, the tarot deck, to, you know, give us a little insight into what's happening here. Mm. What is happening here? What the hell is going on? It's the chariot, the of chariot course. The chariot from the Todd Alcott pulp tarot. Um, yes, because we're traveling. We we're, are moving. You, as you can see, we're going. moving. Yeah, we are, we are, um, we are about to be uh, embarking on our very first overseas. It's very distracting. It is. It's beautiful, though. <laughs> Our very first mm -hmm. overseas tour. We're going to Switzerland and Germany, and we leave in just two days. And there's a lot to do, and uh, a lot of unknowns that are coming. And um, I don't, I don't know. We don't know what to expect, but we're excited, and yeah. um, it's happening. So it's happening. Might as well be excited. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Yeah, and the thing about the chariot is, um, like, you're. It's not up to you in a certain way. You're just you're getting swept along to the next thing, and mm -hmm. um, you can you can yeah. fear it or you can exactly. Like... Hopefully, you've done your you've prepared, mm -hmm. and you can. Yeah, let's just look at that yeah. that card again. She looks prepared. She's very cool. She's got her looking. gorgeous dogs and her little roadster. Yeah, it's Some... like the animal aspect of her forward mm -hmm. motion. Yeah, yeah, forward motion. Yeah, it looks yeah. like she's driving to Italy. Or yeah, she, maybe she's doing one of those big, like, what do you call them? Those races where you have to, like, oh, the yeah. Grand Prix or something. That's right. I don't know what they're called. What's the matter? It's just really distracting. Yeah. The yeah. castle? Yeah, no, nothing. Nothing. I don't, I don't want to make you self-conscious about your physical attributes. Um, well, maybe we ought to play these people a song. Yeah, that's what they're here for. I feel like they're here for our, my inane banter sometimes, but... Um, you know, we don't want to wear them out. Um, oh, Minion, if you wouldn't mind dropping a link to the Pulp Tarot into the chat for anybody else who wants to uh, experience it. Yeah, it's a it's wonderful, wonderful really deck. It's a great deck. What's the first one? What are we doing here? Oh, oh there it is. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, of course. Um, this is a new song. It doesn't appear on any of our albums because mm -hmm. we just wrote it. We're in the middle of recording it. It's, uh, yeah. it's inspired by Bram Stoker's Dracula. Of the light, he 
song is called Trick of the Light. Um, at least we think it's called Trick of the Light. Yeah. You know, it doesn't it doesn't really get set in stone until we release it. And That's right. And who be, knows what it's going to be by then. By then. I mean, it could be yeah. It's All Right, All Right. It could be Dracula. It could be... Yeah, those are those Trick are of kind of the three options. Yeah. Yeah, but we're, we're still kind of auditioning the Yeah, titles. if you have opinions, <clears throat> I guess you can... Tell us your yeah, you can keep them too. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, the other thing that's happening is that I have a new ukulele. Oh, isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? It's pretty. It has um, it has some pros and cons compared to my other ukulele, and I'm sort of like, mm. I'm kind of agonizing over whether to mm. take this one to Europe with me or my other one to Europe with me. And so, um, so I noticed during that song, like, it's just not as loud as the other one when uh, mm. played acoustically, mm -hmm. which, like, mm -hmm. maybe doesn't matter for the shows because I'll be plugged right. in and it sounds pretty good plugged in, but, like, it's it's quieter. The other one also, like, like the back of this one is flat, which is kind of usual for ukulele, but my, uh, my other uke, the back is kind of, like, bowed out, like, a, like almost like the bottom of a boat, mm -hmm. which means that, like, it can, like rotate a little bit when I'm holding it and yeah. uh, and it also projects the sound a little more so yeah. that one is very pretty and it goes nicely with this one it makes a nice yeah it's like, color uh -huh. uh, almost yeah it's, it's nice I mean this one has some practicalities that I like like it has um it has a built-in tuner, tuner uh, and a little bit of EQ which is cool and the um, and the the jack for the quarter inch cable is in a more convenient place um, so I don't know I'm not sure so um, yeah, well, that's that is what's going through my mind as we're playing the songs tonight. Yeah. It's like, am I gonna take this one or like the yeah. other one? Yeah, Peter says to bring the old one, and I think probably that's I'm mean, that's sort of what I'm leaning toward because right. it also just seems like risky to introduce a new physical thing, thing right. before playing a tour's worth of shows. This one's like a little heavier, and I feel like it's a little more fatiguing to play. So. I don't know. It's uh, it's probably it's probably gonna be the old one. But mm -hmm. in the meantime, uh, this gave me an excuse to get a new ukulele, and uh, that's yeah. not a terrible outcome. Yeah. yeah, and you have something that you don't care about that much. Yeah, think. like I like it, but this is really replaceable, and so like mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe if we start doing those gigs that we never want to play, like ones where we like, like the whitewater rafting gig. <laughs> like yeah. the, like yeah. the, all of you deserves to see Europe. Yeah. <laughs> It's so true. It's so true. She's like, she's really put in her time. I think she's, she's earned this. She really has. Yeah, no, it's true. That's like, that's that's the best reason I've I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, maybe if we start doing the kind of gigs that we never want to do with that are like, oh, like, and you're camping and you're staying in a tent and like, right. I'm like, oh, I don't want to like. That's right. Yeah. So maybe this is for that, and uh, or or other sort of I don't know they're like other high risk activities that we could combine with touring or playing mm. shows that like we don't do now because I'm like oh like I don't yeah. want to like you know damage the ukulele like yeah you know it's the most dangerous gig oh like the one where we're like riding on horseback at the same time yes. like and you're like oh when... like I just gotta like squeeze really hard with your knees but like if you gotta grab with your hands suddenly like. The yeah, uke's going down. I'd uke, rather though. it be. Yeah, that's true. But, yeah, but oh. Ropes course. Yeah, ropes course. Exactly. Yeah, this year when we go to yeah. Rochester, we're going to do the, the high ropes course. Yeah, yeah. you're going to bring that uke. Yeah, I'm going to bring the uke. We'll play some songs up there. Mm -hmm. It's going to be great. Um, all right, well, thanks everybody for helping me think this through. Um, I really, I really do appreciate it. Yeah. Um, well, I have a question, another question, yeah. now, now yeah. that everyone's done such a good job of helping to answer this question. Mm -hmm. That is, of course, what are we drinking? What indeed. What are all of you drinking, and also, what are we drinking? Yes. We are drinking, what are we drinking? We are drinking the, the German Sunset. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's got St. German. And, oh, mm, mm, and, and whiskey. Whiskey. Yeah, it's good. It's Cheers. good. Choose. Uh, wait. Choose. No, choose no. is goodbye. Prost. 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 I am. I am really failing Duolingo right yeah. now. Mm. Yeah. Ginger ale. Very good. Ginger ale. Bourbon. bourbon always bourbon. Knob Creek, old mm. fashioned. Uh, blackberry, bubbly. Water and my, that's good, Sierra. Don't let the amoebas in there. The art of choke. Oh, that's good. Does it have mm. cynar in it? The like weird it art must. of choke. It must. Most. Most. 
cherry blossom cider. Ooh. Mm. Oh, co oh, coffee ice cream. I was just thinking about how I haven't had coffee ice cream in a while. Outrage IPA. Grapefruit and hibiscus gimlet mm. sounds nice. Oh, so delicious. Korean tea. What kind of Korean tea, Peter? Absolute vanilla flavor. Vanilla vodka. vodka. Classic. Diet Coke. Yeah, there's no wrong answers here. No wrong. Um, so I'm curious about this Korean tea. Also, the um, the cherry blossom cider prompts me to share a very important piece of information mm. that perhaps all already know. Tell me. Which is that uh, magnolia blossoms, you can eat them, and also you can make, more importantly, you can make like a syrup. Out of what them. is the syrup called? What is the syrup called? Is it not just... Is it called like magnolia or something? <laughs> Is it? I am Magnolio? <laughs> yep. It's called Magnolio. <laughs> you know, there's always some strange name for flower syrup. I don't think it's called that. I think I think it should be now. Okay. If it doesn't have a name, All right. please submit that. Yeah, this is Jeff's superpower, actually. It's, uh, it's coming up with good names for things. Um, except, of course, for the name of his own naming things enterprise. Right, this is my naming company. I need to hire a naming consulting firm to help name my mm -hmm. naming consulting firm. Yeah, that's why you're never going to get it off the ground. I know. I know. But if you have any it's, uh, ideas, let me know. Yeah, yeah, please write like in. Like name namer, name naming name. names. Who will name the namers? Naming names yeah. is kind of yeah. good. Oh, naming names is kind of good. It's kind of good. All right, well. Anyway. Just, all right, anyway. Um, we'll get to that. I'm glad to know what you're all... Milk of Magnolia. Oh, milk of Magnolia. That's a great name. Yeah, that is pretty good. All right. Well, once again, you've all really helped crack this crack code. code. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should we play another song? Yeah. Mm. Do you want me to lend an ear? <laughs> I wish you would. <laughs> I just want it back, though. I can sing tea. Okay. All right. Um, okay. How does this go? Friday dinner, secret language, 
in a whole new country of people. They're just going to be staring at us anyway. Yeah, they're not going to, they're not going to know the difference. They're not going to understand. <laughs> mm. All right, well, yeah, that, I think that went well. I think it, it was musical perfection. Maybe this is a good moment to talk about our new album release. Oh, um, mm. let's talk about yeah, it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna segue right into you that. You mean this? Oh, look at that! I gotta put it on the old. All right. Cam. Oh, there it uh, is. Uh, yeah, you just yeah. gotta hold it so it's. Uh, look, it's Time Ghost. Time Ghost, our Not new, it. our newly released singles collection. Yeah. So, uh, as you probably are all very aware, because a lot of you have already pre-ordered it, um, thank you, by the yes, way, for your you. pre-orders, uh, Time Ghost is a, a new collection of, of singles that we uh, have all been released um, over the last 10 years, uh, but never appearing on any of our albums. So, um, yeah, yep. that's right. <laughs> Time Ghost. So why did we choose the name Time Ghost? Oh, okay. So here's the backstory of Time Ghost. We were like, we want to go on tour in Europe. Mm -hmm. How do we make that happen? We started talking about this like several years ago and yeah. we eventually, we reached out to this booking company uh, who work with a band that we know who play a lot of shows in Europe and we said, would you work with us? And first they said, and you know, the, the German speaking people can be blunt, it seems to me. Mm -hmm. And they were like, um, yeah, your videos aren't good. Like, you need better videos. Otherwise, we, we can't, like, sell right. you to talent buyers. And we were like, well, all right. And so we, they turned out they wanted, like, a very specific kind of video. Yeah, which we made. It was Monsters. Yeah. Um, it wasn't quite what they... It wasn't specific. It wasn't specifically that. But anyway, so we made Monsters, and we came, we went back to them, and we were like, okay, we have better videos that are kind of more what you're looking for. What do you yeah. think now? And they said, yes, we'll work with you, but like you also need to do like a, a, a PR agreement with us. We need, we need something to promote before you go over there to like build right. buzz about you. So you need to release an album right before you go. And we were like, we just released an album. Right. Like, do you know how long it takes us to make an album? It takes us a really long time yeah. to make an album. And, uh, and then we were like, okay, but we have these singles. What if we did 
like a compilation of singles. Don't that put we... some new two new songs on it. And they were like, yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever. we don't care. Yeah. yeah. So whatever. so that was I mean, we had had it in mind for a while to release a lot of these songs um, as a sort of collection of orphan mm -hmm. tracks. Um, and like about half of these songs were released during 2020. We had originally planned to like save them up toward the next like official album. And then instead there was a we pandemic did. and we were like, we're not going to like hold on to these. We're right, just going right. to like let people them, listen let them to them. So um, that's sort of the origin story of Time Ghost. But, yeah. the, but the reason for its name, would you like to tell them? I mean, in, in addition to the fact that like, it's, it's like, the you know, past, past and the and present. The and, and there's it's like all... an old, older photo of us from when, when we were just starting out. But the um, but the translation but, yes for, of time ghost zeitgeist 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 we're we making... knew we we're going to Germany so we we're like oh we're gonna... this will be a real switcheroo yeah. and yeah thus so. time ghost yep zeitgeist zeitgeist yeah that's yeah. yeah so so that's now you know now you know the secret the secret <laughs> history of time ghost and its title yeah and we're so glad that it's out and it's and I'm really happy that people are picking it up and it's all these songs are in one place yeah it's, it's really, nice and and, and they have I, a home now they have a yeah. home and like we it always seems sort of sad that that these songs didn't quite yeah. have a home and, and we remastered them mm -hmm. and so they're i don't know with the german mastering engineer german mastering engineer so. it's, all, it's all coming Germans together love that. yeah um so uh this is we okay so we've um the album released today it released on Bandcamp today and it um uh, it released on where else did it release today on Spotify uh -huh. and and it's on YouTube but like we're uh, we're having some issues with our distributor for this album uh, yeah. it was supposed to release on all the channels today and it did not release on all the channels today so if you're waiting for it to show up on Apple Music or Amazon or one of those other ones um, we're sorry we thought it was gonna be there today um, it'll be there eventually. please feel free to uh, listen to it on where it is available now and it will but it will show up at the other places yes, um indeed. hopefully time. sooner hopefully sooner than later um but time is a construct but because yeah it's it's okay it's, it's yeah i mean it's, what is what is time um uh because today was the official release day mm -hmm. it we received some reviews today um and it's we, we yeah. actually got some like really nice reviews today in some German press outlets, which we will be sharing with you all over the next little bit. Um, we also received some other reviews. Honest reviews. Very honest reviews. That's what the press person said. <laughs> like, oh, you got some honest reviews. You got reviews. some nice and honest reviews. <laughs> and we were like, okay, right. brace yourself. So the format of these of this this set of reviews it's it's only in print so it's not available online. There's there's a print magazine and there's this sort of like grid where across the top there's like ten or twelve albums that were released this week, mm -hmm. and then down the side there's like a whole bunch of reviewers and each of them say like a couple sentences about each of the each of the albums. Um, and some of the reviews of ours were not glowing reviews. So we thought in the interest of honesty and uh, that kind and, of yeah, vulnerability, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we thought we would share some of those with you, but we're going to share them first in German and to assist us with this because our German is very poor. I don't know if you've noticed. I don't know. You, they probably haven't noticed because, well, you know, uh, so well, uh, we'd like to, has. we'd like to call Min Minyan, um, mm into the the god microphone um at, to read uh, uh just a selection of these these very honest reviews minion are you out there yeah 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 ah. oh good uh minion would you be so kind as to read review number one <clears throat> <coughs> Durch so Durch einige so Schragen 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 und der Gestang der ist mir bis zu einer eine Oktave Sucho. There are a few strange tones, and the singing is sometimes an octave too high for me. It happens. The singing is sometimes an octave too high for me as well. <laughs> <laughs> OK. 
Okay, so that was uh, that review was uh, was a uh, four out of ten. Yeah, not bad. Um, shall we go for the six out of ten? Yeah, let's work our way up. Okay. Definitive mehr charming als disaster und ist ansamt ein recht anmutiger Part mit einem harmonischen Duo am Ed Micro. Ist jetzt aber nicht so, dass ich hier wie wild auf die Repeat Tasse heute. You wanna? Yeah. Um. Are are is the echo cancel? Uh. I just, I'm just checking on the echo cancel because I see Karen says echo, echo, echo. I want to make sure nothing weird is happening. Ah. Ah. Danke, Karen. Danke. All right. So um, you may you may not have heard the German perfectly there, um, but uh, we will we will provide the translation. Definitely more charming than disaster, and overall quite a graceful record with the harmonious duo at the mic. But it's not that I'm hitting the repeat button here like crazy. <laughs> okay, that's fair. I feel like that's kind of a good pull quote to use, though. Yeah, but I'm not hitting. It's the not that I'm hitting the repeat button here like crazy. I like sometimes an octave too high for me. So yeah. Okay. So that was a six out of ten. Um, but we did also get an eight out of ten, and. Uh, we thought we would also share the good one with you. Minion, take it away. Nick on Spanish, was was Ellie Bisco und Jeff Morris hier abführen. Ihr seht so ein stimmige Gothfog glitzert und hat dein Morbid Elegance und Stillprinzen erhoben. Mir gelöst nach Drachwein und Kirsenschein. It is not unexciting what Ellie Bisco and Jeff Morris deliver here. They're two part goth folk glitters and has elevated morbid elegance to a style principle. I craved red wine by candlelight. What could be better? And there you have it. <laughs> I craved, I'm not sure if I like, I craved red wine by candlelight more, or if I liked, it's not unexciting what <laughs> Elliot Fisker and Jeff Morris deliver here. Like, why not just say it's exciting? Why are you like, Argue, it's like he's arguing with he's, all the people. It's like, don't believe what people say about you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes. yeah, but I also like style principle, which I assume right. is like a thing. That's a thing. Right? Yeah. Uh, steel princip. Steel princip. Yeah, that's one word. That's like that's like mm. a thing. That's so a good. Steel princip. Um, so there you have it. Um, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Um, so, uh, <laughs> stay tuned, <laughs> stay tuned on our socials. We're, we're going to share a couple of the really nice ones in the coming days yeah. as well. Um, but, uh, but, ones. but, you know, y'all are like, you're in the inner circle here. So, um, you get to hear the other stuff as well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's out there. You can find it. Yeah. But this is only pr in it's print. True. Yeah. You have it's to like true. go to Germany and buy a magazine, I think pretty much. Yeah. Um, all right. There. Well, um, thank you for humoring us with that. Uh, shall we play the nice people another? Yes. Let's see if we can. <clears throat> uh, this we need a special. Oh yeah. Um, Like homing pigeons 
We have these, um, we have, like many of you, we have these leftover Eclipse glasses, um, and uh, if you're looking for tips on what to do with them, we yeah. do recommend playing that song and yeah. wearing them. They make great sleep masks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just can't like move your head around too much. No, no. Or welding. Maybe, they probably work for welding, if you're doing some welding, some quick welding around the house. Yeah, or if you just want to like, I don't know, get rid of the everything for a while sometimes you just don't want to look at anything That's unless so it's the sun which you can still see mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh yeah that's true that this has been making the rounds there yeah. is a group collecting eclipse glasses to send them to south american children for the next eclipse um and yeah if you do a very cursory search on that oh perfect thanks simon for sharing that that cool. song is called knife thrower and it is off of our first album, Love, Crime, and Other Trouble, 
which we just realized will be celebrating its 10 year anniversary Can you believe it? next year. So um, perhaps we will cook up some kind of elaborate ritual to accompany oh, that of course. momentous yeah. occasion. Um, wow. Oh, speaking of the eclipse glasses, um, we, as you might be aware, we uh, put a bunch of eclipse glasses on sale on our band camp right before the mm. eclipse, and most people received theirs, but a few people seem like they didn't receive theirs. So if you're somebody who ordered eclipse glasses for the eclipse and they did not arrive, um, please let us know. We will refund you your eclipse glasses money. Um, yeah. Yeah. But we were very glad to know that most people got them. And yeah. we had like a couple pairs left at the end and we went to the park and we gave them away to a couple folks who didn't have any. So, yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, it was yeah, pretty cool. It's, those are the problems with sending eclipse glasses during the Mercury being in retrograde. <laughs> it's just, everything is a little kerfuddled. Mm. Um, but they made it, most for the most part. Most of them made it. Yeah, it was, wasn't like a totality of them. I like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dave. Okay, sorry. Let, let me qualify that. You can, t if you tell us here in the live stream comments, we will not remember to refund your money. Oh yeah. Please email the secretary. Say yes. never got my clips glasses. That you ordered. That you ordered. Mm -hmm. And um, and we will <laughs> go in and like hit the refund button on that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And if you ordered a Time Ghost CD, um, and you haven't received that, um, yeah. let or, us know that anything. as well. Yeah. Any um, Amazon orders you've you <laughs> Well, yet? we we like we doubled up some of the Eclipse glass and C D orders. Yeah. Some people ordered them around the same time. So if you're missing something, do let us know. Yeah. Because we leave for Europe on Sunday and um, we will not be able to do a lot while we're traveling. No. In the like office sense. Correct. We'll be eating <coughs> Spätzl. We'll be eating Schnitzel and Spätzl. Um, pretzel. Oh, speaking of things mm -hmm. that get sent through the mail. Yes. It's time for my favorite part of the show. It is. It is. That time. It is that time. I'm just going to go commando. Wow. Parse a poster letter. Drop, drop us a line. line. We'll open it together at mailbag time. Send a picture, postcard, or a bottle, bottle of wine. twice then all right so we have received a parcel we, one parcel today you open it i pre-opened it <coughs> you open open it all Post right open. this comes to us from justin oh it comes to us from justin and the wall bees i'm so excited about this <laughs> <laughs> all right so Inside this parcel is a ball of bubble wrap. And inside the bubble wrap. Oh, is this what I think it is? Is this what I hope it is? Is it mushrooms? Oh, this is the best. This is the best. I'm so excited. This is a piece of honeycomb. Oh, so cool. Extracted from the wall. Amazing. Of Justin Schneider here with us in the chat. Justin, I am so, I'm over the, I, as I'm not soon unexcited. As, as soon as I saw <laughs> your post, I have been, so we have been so avidly cool. following the saga of Justin and the wall bees. Mm -hmm. Justin, um, feel free to chime in yeah. here in the chat, but like, uh, I will mm. briefly, oh, I want to smell it. Oh yeah, it smells good. It smells like wall bees. Um, so uh, Justin lives in like an apartment complex in 
you know, the DC area. And just <laughs> Madeline is asking all the important questions. <laughs> and the answer is kind of because uh, Justin, uh, Justin's apartment, the wall of his apartment was infested with honeybees. And it had been for a while. And his was the only apartment afflicted this way because of like some particularity of like the vents or Time like space. the position or whatever. And so there was a long, long standing effort to try and get the landlord or the building manager to get rid of the bees. And finally, after much drama, the bee people came and like got the bees out. And, um, and they were honeybees. And I was like, I hope, I hope you got mm -hmm. some honey. And secretly, secretly, <laughs> I hope that I get some of it. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah, okay, so we, we shouldn't eat this honey, it sounds like, and it's, you know, it's honeycomb. It's like, it's, it's not, honeycomb. it's, it's not like an empty it. honeycomb. It's like, it's the wax from the honeycomb. Like, there might be a little residual honey on there. But this it is an incredible good. specimen for our collection. And if, um, yeah, like it does have some honey. It's like sticky. It yeah. smells good. All right, we won't eat it. I promise it we won't eat it. It might attract other bees. bees. Other wall what, bees. Maybe we'll get an infestation of wall bees here. It's unlikely because we're like in an interior room and like, it's like, this is very much like being in a beehive, actually. It is, space, yeah. yeah. We do, yes, we do have our food all around us. Yeah. Too. So, um, we regurgitate thank you, Justin. This is very special. And, um, I didn't realize that I was somebody who like was into collecting different kinds of honey, but like, mm. I'm definitely that person. The other you kind are. of honey. Well, okay. So, all right. There is some on my hand. Tears of raw. Mm. Sweet. Tastes like honey. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of drywall. Never hurt anybody. Um, so there's a there's dark forest honey which we've talked about on the show mm. before, which is the honey made from the sweet ex mm. excretions of like aphids, where like the honeybees collect that instead of nectar. Um, and there's also um, there's also spotted lanternfly honey. Mm -hmm. So there there are some bees in eastern Pennsylvania who've been making honey out of lanternfly excretions where the lantern flies have been eating um ailanthus trees like the tree grown this, yeah. some brooklyn trees and like it has this like smoky bacony taste mm -hmm. that is very specific right. so i'm slightly obsessed yeah with that kind of honey and i hope santa brings me some this year that's all i'm saying and oh and they call it um what do they call it there's a there's a name doom bloom doom gloom doom bloom doom bloom mm. okay wait we have what about those bees that make horrible honey out of meat? I am interested <laughs> in knowing more about this. If anybody has more information about horrible mm, honey, honey made out of meat, mm. um, please do feel free to chime in. Um, there was also, there was an incident where uh, some bees got into like the maraschino cherry factory. Oh yeah. And like they made all this like artificial red dye honey and the beekeepers were like, what is happening? And it turns out, they were going to the corpse bees. Corpse bees. Okay. Well, there's a lot to learn. Uh, there's a lot for us to look up on the internet during our upcoming travels, wow. I guess. Um, yeah. Doom. Oh, not sorry, David. It's not doom gloom. It's doom, doom bloom. Bloom. Doom bloom. Right? Yeah. Doom bloom. bloom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh man, there's like so much. Mm. There's so much here. <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah. The god of beekeeping is the one who caused the death of Eurydice. Why? Why did the god of beekeeping make Eurydice die? Did she like kill a bee or something? All right. Well, we'll have to we'll have to look into that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, thank you for going down this um, <laughs> rabbit hole with us. Um, and thank you, Justin, for clarifying about not having a corpse in your walls. You know, it's always worth just making sure people know. Mm -hmm. It's That was very sweet, honey. It would, didn't taste like meat, honey. Mm -mm. No. Mm. All right. Well, that sweet. was delightful. 
Maybe we should play them another song. Yeah, please. All right. Let's do it. your strength. this money in our minds we're just gonna like just can't start hold. to suck all the time because we like can't hold it all i blame the the german sunset or whatever this is called maybe we'll need to like sacrifice a song to oblivion in order to like free up a little hard drive space <laughs> <laughs> just it's just a maybe. theory yeah i mean we're messing up songs that we've never messed up in those ways mm -hmm. before. This is new. This mm -hmm. is new territory of fuck ups. There's a lot going on. It's good training for when there's going to be a lot going on in other situations. We'll have experience. Yeah, for the apocalypse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> it's the new uke, as Peter says. Yeah, it's probably the new uke. It's throwing me off. It's cursed. <laughs> it's cursed. I specifically ordered it. I, I put in the comments that I wanted it to be not cursed, but... Oh, you have to pay extra for that. No, I just think they don't read it. They don't read it in the instructions. There's a thing when you buy it on Amazon, you can, like, get the insurance, and then you can get the cursed free, mm. or the exorcism, I think. It, <sighs> I just, I hate affirm. when they, like, I just hate those, like, upsell fees, you know? I know. It's, it's annoying. Mercury and Gatorade spares no one. Yeah. So true. So yeah. true. Hercules and Tetra, Tetra, Amagon. All right, we have some updates from Carrie about the bees. 
um, mm -hmm. the, uh, the Eurydice bees. Um, Minion, if you want to pop that on screen uh, for everybody, that would be helpful. Thanks. Iris Days was good with bees, very bad with boundaries. Like so many people, right? So many Eurydice's gods. sisters killed all of his bees in revenge for her death, but he conjured new ones to fill his hives from sacrificial bovine corpses, which presumably were those meat bees that mm -hmm. we were talking about, or so they say. Thank you. It's all connected. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you. <clears throat> Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, it's true. But it's just that the market has shifted. People, people want it. Want it now. Yeah. Full circle. All right. Well, um, so um, exciting news. Not unexciting news. We are going to Germany and also Switzerland. Um, so we leave on Sunday. Our first show is on Wednesday. Um, we've got two shows in Switzerland in Bern and Basel. And then we go to Germany where we will have like 10 more shows, nine more shows. Nine! Um, nine! Uh, nine more shows in Germany, kind of all over Germany, more or less. Mostly in the yeah. West. We have a couple shows in the East in Berlin and outside of Berlin. We've got one like way up north, almost mm -hmm. in Denmark. Um, and uh, and if you go, if you, if this is relevant to your experience because you are in or near Germany, um, please go to our website, charmingdisaster.com slash shows, and uh, you can find out about our upcoming dates there. We mm -hmm. would really love to uh, to see some fa some faces, some friendly faces in the audiences yes. in, in Europe. But more importantly, we have a few days off on this, mm -hmm. on this tour. And um, we have not yet made plans for all of them. So if you have advice for cool stuff to do in Germany. Um, we Oh, Svenka, which show oh. are you coming to? Which show, I'm so curious about which which shows we're going to get to expect to see some friendly faces at. Um, oh, yes, we could post the donate link again. Um, thanks. Thanks, Minion. Um, Eden, if you're still on, uh, if you wouldn't mind pinning that comment so that people can find it, that would be beautiful. Thank you. Um, um, yeah, and also, right, we, we want suggestions on stuff to do. In yeah, like, case. do you have a favorite haunted medieval castle? Mm -hmm. um, is there, like, a great place to get vegetarian food in Hamburg? Which would be well, ironic, I it guess. It would be so funny. <laughs> Yeah. Um, or veggie burg, as it's called. <laughs> um, yeah, or anything to yeah, anything that we should keep an eye out for or do, or there's a special mm -hmm. good luck thing you do on the. Oh, if you go to Ansbach, you can visit Caspar Hauser's grave. Oh, cool! Oh, coming to Allensburg and bringing some company. Oh, that's wonderful! Oh, wonderful. Yay! That's wonderful. It'd be great to see you. Um, so, fun fact: the Allensburg show is actually my birthday. It's April twenty seventh. So, um, so, you know, you should bring a cake. I'm going to be coming. 400 years old. So bring a lot of candles for the cake. Mm. Um, and Gabe wants to know which show is the one that will be live streamed in case people missed that. Thank you, Gabe, for reminding us about that. Turns out our show in Berlin on May 3rd is going to be live streamed. It will be live streamed at 8 p.m. Germany time. That's Central Eastern, Central European Standard Time. Um, which means that it'll be 2 p.m. on the East Coast, and then you can, like, do the math from there. Mm -hmm. So May 3rd, what day, is, what day of the week is that? I don't know. No one you knows. Can, nobody knows. But you can find out, I bet. May 3rd, our Berlin show um, will be live streamed. And the link for that is um, it's on our website, and it's on our Facebook, like, in the event. Mm -hmm. um, so it should be, thank you, Friday. Friday, May 3rd. Um, take a late lunch break or a long lunch break um uh oh yeah the hearts we we were looking around there band and amusement park in berlin mm -hmm. yeah this is like right up our alley yeah um cool. we will we will trawl through these comments later and find things for our itinerary our tour book uh hessa where Mike's ancestors came from. Mm -hmm. uh, Sierra wants to know, will you be able to watch after the fact? I think so, because if you go to uh, the um, Artliners YouTube. Berlin YouTube channel, right. um, the, you can see a bunch of archived live stream shows. So I think yeah. I think the answer is yes. 
Anywhere on Die Romantise Strasse, a bunch of towns whose economy was ruined by the Thirty Years' War, so they're still oh. pretty medieval. Wow. Cool. I mean, not cool for them, I guess it sucked for them, but cool for it's us good now. good to know. Yeah. Hmm. Um, cool. Uh, so, uh, so far in our uh, day off itinerary, we have go eat uh, fondue and visit the H.R. Geiger Museum in Gruyere. Thank you, Dave. Hmm. For suggesting that it like oh, yes. just kind of works out with our route and uh we have a plan to go to baden baden um to experience the the thermal spring thermal. the thermal baths there which are like ancient roman style mm -hmm. um and apparently there's like a lot of very specific rules for like how long you're supposed to stay in each room you're like first you're in the warm room then you're in the hot room then you're in the warm bath and the hot bath and you have to like rub there's yourself with the towel i don't know it sounds very like it... stressful but um <laughs> Kind but of you, we have three hours. It'll be fine. It'll be, it'll be fine. Um, yeah. Uh, if you oh, are is anybody new here? Is this anybody's like first quarantine live stream? Yeah, we're sorry. First of all, yeah, we're so, and it's, so it's, sorry. It's not always like this. <laughs> it's always like this, pretty much the quarantine live stream. Um, <laughs> if you're new here, uh, welcome. Um, and if Welcome you, in. if you're like, wow, who are all these really nice weirdos in the, in the chat? If only there were some way to like exchange mm. information with them all the time about things like corpse bees or, you know, meat bees or any kind of bees, really. Mm -hmm. um, good news. We have uh, our community slash cult, um, which is the Society of the Mysterious Hand. Uh, and if you're not familiar with the Society of the Mysterious Hand, but you think you might be, if you're like society curious, please email the secretary, secretary at charmingdisaster.com and say society. And, what? uh, yeah, and you'll, you'll get some information in response about how to join the society. If you're so inclined and mm -hmm. like to commune yeah. with your fellow weirdos, um, uh, we, we count ourselves among them. Oh yes. The society Just of the look mysterious into hand. The hand. That's right. Look into the hand. Uh, there's a Facebook group. There's a Discord channel. If you join the Facebook group, you will be asked a few questions regarding things like your favorite poisonous plants, which helps us weed out trolls and bots and also amuses us greatly. Not that we're against trolls. If you're a troll, that's Yeah, fine. no, no. Trolls, if you're like a... If you're a robot, kind that's of, okay, too. Um, you just have, or, an, or, have an opinion on these things. Yeah, we just... Yeah, we want to know. Um... Hmm. Oh, Troy was just reading about German. Oh, pute. Okay. Huh. Huh. All right. I'm just going to pop that on screen so all the YouTube people can also read this. Putrificariums. Victorian places where your corpse could sit until these be decomposed. Oh, yeah. The, the Victorians were very anxious mm. about premature burial. Yeah. Because um, it happened all the time. It happens sometimes. All the time. And, uh... I think to be fair, there were a lot of there was a lot of curiosity about like how do you know like where mm -hmm. where is that line? Sometimes it seems kind yeah. of like a fuzzy line, That's and you know like Lord knows it's a fuzzy line. You know, am I right? It's true, and all those corsets and stuff. Mm -hmm. People were fainting a lot more. Oh, that's true. And yeah, and yeah. Um, oh, and hello, Margarita, who is here late, but not too late. Um, anything else we want to tell them before we like play another song or two? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I think. I think. All right, let's play them another song. We'll have some uh, some more notes to to share before the very end. But we yeah, let's, let's play, play them some music. Song. Um. Oh, I know we're gonna play the song, but I don't have the thing. <laughs> uh, you're gonna just, you're gonna improvise. All right. I'm gonna be back here. Okay. I'll come up when I have to sleep. I mean, don't strain yourself. Finally 
they made detective after years on the street But I could never forget the way she looked at me Fire burning in her eyes Next time that I saw her, she was all grown up Sparkling in spangles at the club deluxe Where the owner was known as king of the mob And my sugar, she was on his arm She didn't tell us so till it was too late. When she closed her eyes, the angel sang. I just got carried away. I couldn't help it. Try to get by all by myself. It didn't have to be this way. Got carried away. from upstairs. I've on never the heard top anything. Floor. This is the top floor. This is the top floor. That's right. Oh yeah. We've never heard those before. Mm -mm. No. 
Um, well, there was a question a little earlier, right before we played the song. Um, Joseph it? Davey wants to know, what's your favorite poison? I feel like that would offer too much information mm. when the inquest happens. Mm. But I am fond of, oh, bees. Bees. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I'd like to put it to everybody Death else. Death by a know. thousand stings. Mm. Bees. All right, bees are a popular poison. You mm. know, I haven't considered bees as a murder weapon, but... Um, put them in someone's wall. It's worth considering. Yeah, not that we would ever do such a thing. Mm -mm. Do you know how hard it is to get bees into somebody's wall? I know. I do know. Um, yeah, I... I don't know. My favorite poison, besides alcohol, like you mean to take myself? <laughs> <coughs> There's a little of the pufferfish. Oh, pufferfish, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little numbing. Um. Yeah, I think for me it's aconite. I mean, aconite. There's a lot of good ones. Oh, what yeah. were you, what were you gonna say? Oh, I was gonna say. Um, but that, yeah, I changed my mind. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. It's it's hard to it's hard to. Uh, Why well, limit to yourself? Decide. Yeah, yeah. It's like asking what's your favorite book. You what's know? your favorite color? It's like it depends on the context, really. Oh well, Onsa seems to know a little bit too much about getting bees in a wall, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. We have some shows coming up. I know we, we talked about the Euro tour and like it's true those are coming up and we've talked about those but we also have some U.S. tour dates what? coming up. Yes, Wait, it's was true. Was I not told about these? So no, you were told. Um, so we are going to be getting back from Europe on May 9th and then a couple weeks later we hit the road again and we're going south. Minion, would you mind pulling up the uh, the overlay? The, ah, oh, there the we go. Uberlay. The oh. Uberlay. All right, we are going to be in Nashville, Sierra. Our very own Sierra here in the chat is producing a live music burlesque show with our music and some of Nashville's in a train. finest. Oh, yeah, and it's it's, on, it's actually on a train or car. On a train. Yeah. So we go straight from that to Absfest, the Asheville Burlesque and Sideshow Festival, where we will be playing two shows, one of which is also a live band burlesque show, but it's also a journey through the underworld. Um, we played Absfest last year. It was so much fun. We're so excited to go back. Oh, so great. Um, then we'll be going to Knoxville for the first time. We'll be going to Atlanta to play uh, Waller's Coffee Shop. We played there once before, but this time we'll be sharing the bill with another spooky duo called Valentine Wolf and also some puppets. Some puppets. Some bad ass puppets. We're going to Savannah to do one of Dame Darcy's Wednesday series shows. Uh, details TBD. Um, Greenville, South Carolina, where we'll be playing at the Carolina Baron House, uh, continuing our German theme. Mm -hmm. And then in Durham, we're going to be playing a show with our friends Curtis Eller and friends. Uh, we're going to be back in Richmond to play Reveille. And finally, um, it's not technically Baltimore. Technically, it's Columbia, Maryland, but very close by. Uh, it's where, a suburb. As, yes, Baltimore suburbs to play The Glow, a backyard circus performance series um, where we'll be playing music. So uh, we have a lot of exciting stuff coming up um, in the Southeast U.S. So if you are in the Southeast U.S. or have been considering a trip to the Southeast U.S. It will be well worth it. Yes, and you can find info about all the shows um, the, as they are announced at charmingdisaster.com slash shows. shows. We are also putting things on our Facebook. And if you go to our Instagram bio, our link tree, like all the things we are it's, trying it, to make there. it very easy to find all of the information about all of the things. Um, so yes, Minion is going to drop into the chat the link for all the things. This includes where to find us on all of our social media channels, upcoming shows, everything. Yes. And if you're overwhelmed with all these things, just know that we're going to just breathe. Yeah. Just breathe. We're gonna be Think here. about how overwhelmed we are. <laughs> if you feel overwhelmed, 
just think about how much it takes to get all this information into all these places. Into all your brains. Yes. So um, that's what's coming up. Mike wants to know, what about Cleveland? We love Cleveland. We want very much to come back to Cleveland. We need to figure out when we're going to come back to Cleveland, yeah. perhaps in the fall. Um, and and P.S., there are a lot of places that we love to play. And just because they're not on this upcoming tour schedule yeah. doesn't mean we're not coming back there and doesn't mean that we don't want to come there. It's just very difficult to be in all of the places. But we want to be um, in all the places. We really want to be in all the places. Um, but we have to, like, string the string the shows together in a way that makes sense for us to, like, yes. connect the dots. So it's it's a complex logic puzzle. Logic puzzle. Yeah. Um, oh. All right, so we're going to play another song. Oh, okay. Um, my mom just posted in the chat. My mom would like to know about... Uh, oh, she wants to know about Amsterdam. She wants to know about Amsterdam. So if anybody has information about Amsterdam, like cool places to stay, um, drop that into the chat um, and let my mom know. Thanks. Is he going to be in Amsterdam when we're in Germany? Oh. Yeah, they, who knows? Maybe they'll come see us in Germany. Maybe we'll see. It them could them happen. Soon. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, we, oh, wait. Before we do our last song, we have one song left. There's one song left. And there's a couple more things we need to tell people. Before. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, so we have already told you to follow us on all the things. Um, we want to thank you all so much mm -hmm. for being here with us and sharing this time. And... Um, being your beautiful selves who know all about corpse bees and things like that and humoring our silliness um we love getting to do these shows with you and it's it's been four years it's really hard to believe yeah. um and we've met a lot of you in person now and we hope to see you in the near future um we want to thank especially minion for pulling the levers and reading the german We'd like to <laughs> <laughs> yes danke minion um, and thank you to Eden for all of her wonderful work in the social medias. Um, thank you to our Patreon patrons. Um, your numbers keep growing and it means the world to us that you are supporting us in this way. Whether it's a dollar a month or a million dollars a month. I'm joking. Nobody's doing a million dollars a month. Not yet. Uh, but thank you so much for being in the Patreon we are uh, we're sharing some stuff there that we don't really get to share anywhere else. And, and actually, we're sharing a really cool thing there on Monday, um, which is a correspondence we recently had with a college student who wanted to know about Paris Green, our song, for an English lit class assignment that she was working on. So if this intrigues you and you're not yet in the Patreon, this is a nice time to join. Um, you can... Uh, you can jump over that paywall for as little as a buck a month. Um, uh, and if you're uh, in the Society of the Mysterious Hand, please know how much we adore you. And we're so glad that you've made this so home um, for not just yourselves, but also for us. We, we love you very much. Very and if you're not yet in the Society, you know what to do. Email the secretary and uh, the mysteries will be revealed. <sighs> All right, once again, this is a donation-based concert. If you would like to support us with a financial contribution, here are some ways to do that. And uh, Minion, if you wouldn't mind dropping that into the chat one more time in case people can't find it, we would love that. Um, thank you again, everyone, for being part of the charming disaster experience. <laughs> um, what song you want to do, Jeff? That's our last one. Uh, let's do this one. Okay. What do you say? Yeah, great. For Fred. <laughs>
Another successful quarantine live stream. We all made it. We did it, everybody. We did it. Great we did job. It. Thank you all for your wonderful presence. And uh, we will mm. see you perhaps in Germany or perhaps in Switzerland or perhaps in the south or perhaps just in the beautiful, beautiful ether. Mm. Um, or in our dreams. Sierra, get better. Yeah. Beat the COVID. Um, thank you, everybody, for being here. I love uh, you. And we'll see you mm. in the future. See you.